Hi, I'm Scraggan Metals here. I'm going to have a quick word about the uh, Metal Indian, some Metal Turkey here. So, let's have a look at E Metal. That's Indian. Now, this is the softest metal that there is. You can practically just scrape it with your hand. I'm not going to be doing that though. Makes a strange sound when bent. All these stamps were just sort of pressed or pushed into the bars. It's extremely soft, didn't need to hammer it or anything. Pours extremely easy, it's definitely one of my favourite metals. Quite a bit here, as you can see. Even though it takes up that amount of size, that tiny stack there is worth over £50. So it's definitely good for investing. As you can see, there is not much. It's not taking up much space. So it's good if you wanted to make a massive stack worth a lot. So it's about 50 grams, goes for about 15 pounds. So 100 grams, about 30. So it's quite valuable. It's also quite rare. It's used to make transistors, photocouplers, and rectifiers, mainly electrical components, things like that can also be used to make mirrors and is used in smartphone screens also like the one I'm recording this video on right now in fact there's probably some indium in this phone now you can't really buy this unless you go on eBay so it's the only place you can buy it that I've found so far so well of any reliable purity 999 and then you have to buy from Russia so it's up to you. If not, you can get it off CPUs. Sort of just scrape it off CPUs from PCs. But you won't get hardly any. In order to get one of them bars, you'd need to scrap literally 50 CPUs just to get one of them tiny things. But that would be free. And it is a free source of indium out there in electronics. So worth keeping an eye out if you find any CPUs or you can have a couple of these bars as you can see they are quite nice sort of a silvery white metal quite similar to tin as you can see I just dug my nail in the bottom of that and it's marked it straight away. It's extremely, extremely soft. You can in fact cut this with a pair of scissors. So, quite interesting. It's definitely my preferred metal. I'd like to pour a lot, lot more of it, but it's not cheap. As I've said, this tiny stack, 50 pounds. So, worth collecting some. Definitely a good investment item. So there's a little bit about indium and metal. Check the description for more information about it. For the next metal talk.